is so good. Hi everyone, welcome to Cake with Pamela Jane. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my absolute favorite buttercream of all time. It's a mousseline buttercream, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So there's a few things that you'll need in order to make this. Um, it'll make your life easier if you have them. I guess you could do it without, but these things will be helpful. You do need a candy thermometer to gauge how the um, sugar syrup is cooking and to get it to a very specific temperature, which is really important. And you'll need a heavy bottom pan in order to cook the sugar syrup in. What? Is that a pan with a big butt? Heavy so bottom. Heavy bottom pan. <laughs> you should include that in there. You'll need a stand mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer, but you're gonna be there a long time. It's gonna be a little more difficult to do because you've gotta juggle a few things. So a stand mixer is kind of my, I think, necessary. Okay, so there are a few things that you wanna have prepped and ready because when that sugar syrup is done, things move, move pretty quickly and you need to get it poured in as soon as possible. So we want to prepare our mixing bowl. And I like to take about a teaspoon of lemon extract and pour it in there. And then I use a paper towel and I just kind of wipe it all around in the bowl. And this is going to help stabilize the egg whites. In this recipe, we're using nine egg whites. So you wanna have those set aside um, well ahead of time so that they can come to room temperature or you can do it quickly in a bowl with hot water and let it set for a few minutes. I like to crack my eggs in a separate bowl just in case if any yolk gets in with the whites, you're gonna have to start again because when you're making a meringue, fat and egg yolks are the enemy of, the, of you getting those stiff peaks that are important for, for this meringue part of the icing. So crack those, separate them, and then you can put it into your mixer bowl. So once we've prepped the bowl with our lemon extract, and we've separated our egg whites from the yolks. You want to put the egg whites into the mixer bowl and just let it set there for a few minutes. We'll come back to this once our sugar syrup has been boiling for a little bit. Okay, so into a saucepan, you're going to put two level cups of regular sugar. Now I want to add two thirds of a cup of water. Okay, so one of the things that you want to make sure when you get your water in with the sugar, I do not stir it at all. If you stir that, it can cause it to crystallize on the edges of the pan and then you could end up with some grainy texture and you don't want that. So once you have your thermometer secured into the sugar and water, you just wanna turn on the stove at medium heat and let it cook for several minutes. So temperature is really important when you're making this um, mousseline buttercream. Your butter needs to be at the correct temperature, your sugar water needs to be at the correct temperature, and your egg whites need to be room temperature. And I like the butter to be room temperature but not melty, so between 65 and 70, no more than 70, and you want four sticks of butter. And while your sugar syrup is cooking, you wanna chop those into cubes. My sugar syrup is about 225 degrees. I wanna turn my mixer on and, ooh, got ahead of myself, but it's on the other side. I want to whip my egg whites now, so we're gonna do that on high speed for um, about four to five minutes, depending on how long the egg whites take to get to stiff peaks. So this is the point that you want your meringue. So these peaks don't fold over into themselves. You want them to stay up. And that is the perfect consistency. Okay. We need to go check on our sugar syrup because I think it's getting pretty close and time to be drizzling it in here. Okay, so now we're right around 240 to 245 degrees and I'm gonna take my thermometer 
off and set it aside. Be careful, it's really hot. And you wanna use hot pads for this. We're gonna take our sugar syrup over and while the mixer is on low, you want to start drizzling this in between the whisk and the mixing bowl. You want it to be a steady stream, but not too much. And be careful that you don't get it on the whisk because it can fling it out at you and you don't want to get burned with hot sugar. So the heat from the hot sugar syrup that we just poured in there is going to pasteurize the egg whites so they're perfectly safe to eat. Now you're going to leave this on to mix. You want to switch it to high and it's going to go for quite a while. You're going to want to run this on high for 10 to 15 minutes. The bowl of the mixer is still really hot and you can't add the butter when it's this hot so it needs to, to cool down quite a bit. Okay, so my meringue has been whipping for about 10 to 15 minutes and it is still pretty warm, um, not as hot as it was, but it's still too warm to add the butter in. So I like to put mine in the fridge for about five minutes just to cool it off a little bit more and then I find that it's the perfect temperature for me to add my um, room temperature cool butter. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and then we'll come back and do the butter. But see how glossy and beautiful that is? So I've just taken this out of the fridge and it is mostly cool. There's still a little bit of warmth here on the bottom, but my butter is more on the cool side, so I think that'll be okay. Once I add it in there, it'll help cool this down a little bit more. So I'm gonna turn this on low. And I'm just gonna add a couple pieces of butter at a time until that is fully incorporated. This part might take several minutes, but it's worth it to be patient and not put it all in at once. After you get about half of the butter in there, it starts to look a little soupy, and that's okay. It's not messed up. You want to just keep going and it will reincorporate back into itself. Once we get all the butter in there, before we continue to whip that back up, we want to scrape the sides down. And again, it is somewhat on the deflated soupy side, but here in a minute, we're going to turn it back on high and it's going to whip back up into this deliciously creamy, cloudy icing. Okay, once we've whipped that for a few more minutes to get it to thicken back up, we're gonna add the vanilla extract. We're gonna put a teaspoon um, to one and a half teaspoons in there, depending on how flavorful you'd like that. And then turn it back on high for 30 seconds to a minute. So now we have this amazingly thick, creamy, Mousseline icing. It is absolutely to die for. Mm. It's so good. The butter is so flavorful. It's not too sweet. It is so amazing. You've got to try making this. This will stay good at room temperature for up to four days. This smooths on a cake like a dream. It is so amazing to work with on a cake. This is just an amazing icing. Even my husband, who typically doesn't like icings, loves this, and um, it's just very, very popular. It also elevates your cake flavors to a little more sophisticated of a flavor profile. It's definitely worth the effort. It's not hard to do. Once you've done it a couple times, you'll be doing it without even needing a recipe. So please let me know what you think of this. I'd love to hear from you and answer any questions you might have or see things that you are making using my tutorials and videos. Thank you so much for watching. 
and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.